Hey, and welcome back to Northern Chris. Again, this is part two of my off-grid uh, cabin build. It, the property came with its old busted wooden gate, so I wanted to close it up so no one would be driving in and out as the for sale sign was still hung up in the property. So this is a video of me just kind of using the tools I had. I had limited resources. Uh, lumber prices are all-time highs. I only had a certain amount of screws and nails. So I had to do what I could just to close this off, just to make sure it lasts the winter. This video was filmed back in December, and I wanted to make sure that was closed off as it is a snowmobile trail and an ATV trail, and a lot of people do go up and down this road. So I just want a little bit better privacy because this gate was ready to fall over. Again, some of these screws were very, very rusted and old. You can see I used a sawzall. I'm using a hammer trying to pry off the old hinge because I want to reuse it as I didn't have new ones. This is a temporary gate. I will be pouring real posts, cedar posts in with a real barn gate or farm gate. As you can see, I'm using a sawzall again, trying to cut the screws off just to get the hinge out. It's a long process. It's a lot harder when you don't have the right tools for the job. Again, this is two hours north from where I live. Nothing's really open right now. This is during COVID lockdown. So I had to order everything online. I couldn't just walk into the store and say, hey, give me a hinge. So I thought I brought enough supplies, but as you'll find out, you always need more than you think. And two dogs just came running by. A lady was walking down the path. Very nice person, lives down the street. Was asking who I was and what was I doing. So very friendly. I'm glad I purchased this property. Everyone so far has been very, very nice to me. They're just all curious, you know, small old town. Figure some new guy from the city comes in. What is he doing? So as you can see here, I'm just trying to take it all apart, keeping all the screws, because I will need to reuse them, as well as I don't want to drive over them, puncture a tire. So again, I'm just laying out the boards hammering them in. I'll screw them afterwards. Just trying to lay out what the design looks like. I didn't bring any wood with me. Just used what was there with the existing gate and any branches I could find in the woods. At this point, I haven't really walked the property. This is still fairly new. This is when I first pulled in. So I didn't know what kind of supplies or materials or trees were in there other than obviously the pictures, the trees in the background. So that stubborn hinge, still working on it took a lot longer than it should have to remove that if I would have just purchased new hinges from the start I could have just fired them on but since I didn't I had to take that one off and reuse it probably spent at least 20 minutes trying to take that one off a lot longer than it should have been so now at this point I'm just cutting the end flat I'll be putting the hinge on screwing it down Trying to get it as straight and flush as possible. Double checking to make sure what I'm doing makes sense. Again, just working on the ground with limited tools and resources makes it a little bit harder. So using the Sawzall to cut the post straight so I can mount the hinge. So now that the hinge is on, I can screw it on to the post. These posts are just fired into the ground. They're not cemented. I think they're only two or three feet, maybe two feet max deep. So not very secure. There actually is a cable holding around that to a, a tree off the side just to hold those posts upright because they would fall over otherwise. One of the difficult things about working in the wilderness by yourself is you have to improvise. You can see I'm trying to hold it up with my shoulder while screwing it in. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. 
So as you can see, the gate won't be the fanciest thing in town. It's only temporary. I want it to last until the spring when I can, when the ground is thawed and I can auger at some holes and I can put some cedar posts in for a real metal gate. So again, that post was a little bit too short for the bottom. Had to figure out a new solution. Found a new branch. Just cutting all the branches off. So now I'm screwing the hinge on the bottom plate, if you will, or board that I just cut all the branches off of. Seems to be working, seems to be holding. That looks like a good spot. Again, no measuring tape, just eyeballing the whole thing. Might not be the prettiest gate, but by the time I'm done, it should be enough to keep, like I said, the honest people out. So now the gate's looking more like a gate. And I'm just screwing the horizontal bar boards to the bottom board. Hold them in place. There will be a no trespassing sign and a chain hooked up around this just to hold it shut. As you can see, it swings. It doesn't hit the ground. Hinges don't quite go all the way. Got to bend them a little bit. Still works. There you go. One side done. Get a few kicks, kick the branches off, saws all the rest of them. Now I'm going to work on the other side of the gate. Cut it down to size. So again, just checking the old gate, holding it in place, because I want to line up where this gate should go, where I should screw the hinges in. Same thing, this wood was pretty rotten, but like I said, Limited supplies have to do with what you work with, especially during this pandemic. Nothing comes easy. So as you can see, the hinges aren't great. The wood isn't great. Everything's moving. Gate's a little bit low. Now I'm lining up the bottom, trying to raise that li that upper board so it's at least somewhat level with the left side gate. So that's what I want it to look like when it's done. Screwing it together. I only had about a dozen little one and a half inch screws. Then I had about a dozen or two dozen deck screws and a few nails. As you can see, I'm not very happy with it.
deciding to do was I got these long branches, probably about five, six feet tall, that stick into the ground. So most of it holds the weight up off the post and it'll straighten the gate out. I figured that was an easy solution um, because those hinges are really bent and the wood is really soft and rotten. Those were installed, now it's little decorative pieces. Again, some structural, but mostly decorative, just to make the gates look a little bit more like a gate. Again, cut a few branches, cutting them to size now for a little decorative X's on the each side of the gate. This is Northern Chris here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. A new video drops midnight at Thursday, so Friday morning. It's ready to watch every week. As you can see, it's looking more like a gate, less and less like a bunch of sticks. So almost done, one more branch to put in to make an X. Is it functional? Yes. Is it the prettiest? No. Will it work temporarily? Yes. That's what this is, a temporary gate just to keep some people out over the winter. Again, Northern Chris here signing off. Thanks so much for watching.